See, this wasn't my idea. I didn't ask him to do it, but I mean, you know Dawson, once he gets something in his mind, it... I'm sorry. If it wasn't your idea, why are you apologizing? Because you're obviously upset. I'm upset because we haven't spoken in two weeks, and now when we finally do, the first words out of your mouth, as per usual, are about Dawson. Well, this conversation is about to get harder, Pacey. You want me to drop out, too? Wow, Dawson Leary couldn't have scripted this one any better, could he? What do you mean? Don't you get it? No matter what I do, he wins. If I drop out, he wins. If I stay in the race, I'm forced into direct competition with the guy. And if I actually win, I don't beat him, I beat you. So guess who really wins there? Well, maybe you could talk to him. I mean, try to work it out. Yeah, we tried that. He doesn't really want to talk to me right now. And when he does, it's not entirely civil. Could you try again, Pacey, please? Yeah, if that's what you want. That's all that you want. That's all that I want. What are you trying to prove? I'm just trying to help Joey. <laughs> Look, man. Why don't you just take a swing at me? And honestly, just take a poke. Get it over with. Save us both a lot of time and trouble. Wouldn't involve our friends. Or family. Do you think that indulging yourself in some James Dean meets grease lightning fantasy that you're actually gonna prove you're a better man than I am? I don't have to prove that. You made that clear when you moved in on Joey. For the very last time, Dawson, I made a mistake. I thought you of all people would understand someone falling for Joey Potter. <laughs> Are you delusional enough to believe that you actually have something real with Joey? Well, if I do, it's because of her own free will. <laughs> do you really think a couple confused weeks means anything compared to the lifetime that we've had? And do you actually think that you could possibly hold on to that beautiful woman with some sort of selfish ultimatum? Answer my question, Pacey. Do you really think you can compete with history? Some history? 15 years of watching PG movies in your bedroom, followed by another year and a half of pretending to be grown up only to drop each other at the first sign of crisis. That's your history? Come on, man. You call this woman your soulmate? Yes, I do. And you knew that, and you went after her anyway. Right after you rejected her. Oh, so she was vulnerable. Perfect for you, right? Because you're only interested in girls you can save or screw, right, Pace? In fact, Carpe Diem is not acknowledging True Love's request for serum at the bar. One of these boats doesn't appear on course here in a minute. We're gonna have a major collision. They're heading for the same spot. Are they crazy? Hey, we got the right away! You guys can back off. I'm not getting out of his way. Two links! I'm not getting out of his you way! Come on! Get off our line! Move on, no, Dawson! You're gonna run into the dock. Dawson, come on! Give us room! Oh, my God! with the right of way, changes course to avoid a collision. Carpe Diem does cross the line first. Oh boy, it's going to be protest. Carpe Diem, they didn't back off at all. I, I'm sure that's a disqualification. Mischief is approaching to finish second, and unfortunately, true love, they'll finish a distant fifth. We won! No, you didn't, Dawson. You lost. What? If you knew a little bit more about sailing, you would know that you got disqualified. You're nearly for... killing me! What, I got disqualified? Oh, I got a couple more words for what you are. Okay, let's not forget who started this, Pacey. Look, You're the one who said you wanted to... The both of you, stop this. I'm not some damn trophy. No, Joe, let's not forget who started this, okay? Let's not forget who pushed me towards Joey Potter in the first place. It was you! Pushed? Yes, it was you, because you couldn't be bothered. Because I didn't want to get hurt again, Pacey. I still had feelings for her. I still loved her. I, I still love her. I, I, I hate this. I hate all of this. God, I hate you for kissing me and forcing me to figure out what it all means, Pacey. And I hate you, Dawson, for, for forcing me to make a choice between our friendship and what I might have had with him. And I hate myself. I mean, I wish we could go back to the way it was. I wish I could take it all back, but I can't. Nothing is worth going through all of this. No one person is worth this. Neither one of you, and especially not me. Thank you.